Previously on Amnesia, a Machine for Pigs. You... There we go. Yes, my furnaces are fueled! Alright, onwards, and to what I'm sure is not a death trap. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the process of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. Eight. Okay, journal. The centrifuge. It's some sort of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds, and it positively reeks of the foul fluids I have seen too often before. Low temperature storage. And holding pen. Oh, those both sound really awful. Really, really awful. Let's go in the worst one first. Hello, Internet. My name is Tipsy Villain because I enjoy consuming adult beverages and then playing video games. And welcome to part nine of Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Okay, where we last left off, our uh, flashlight was flickering like crazy. Um, now, if you've been paying attention, that usually happens. Um... Well, it doesn't usually happen. When it happens, it mean it's a hint that a pig will soon show up. So Yes, was not this was the way we're supposed to go. And uh So is there uh, I can't say shit without the light on, but I am. Yep. Yep, it's right there. It's right there. It's patrolling right there. Try to lighten this up in post, but I mean, uh, there's only so much I can do. Where is it? Come on! Where am I supposed to go? Maybe I can sneak past it? You know, it's hard to do the stealth thing if you can't see what it is you're supposed to be hiding from. Come on! Okay. I don't see anything. Uh, is it still there? Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Didn't have to worry about a thing. <laughs> All right. The lift has been sabotaged. You will have to find another way to the tunnel. Take care in this place, Mandus. It is the crucible of the evil that stalks these corridors. The crucible of the evil? And the lift's broken? Oh no! How will I survive without my ascension machine? Is there anything back here? No. Okay. The crucible of the evil. Alright, if you say so, Atlas. He is Alexander, isn't he? I mean, I can't think of who else that guy could possibly be, though. I mean, as we think about it, we haven't really encountered very many characters in this. Okay, here's the map. Where are we now? We're still above ground. Okay, yeah, there's the slaughtering. Okay, this is weird because... Because it seems like we keep on going down, but we're above ground. Okay, I guess this is the, um, the, the, the chemicals I need. Alright, can I go? 
Nope! He, <laughs> I'm pressing forward, but he's just standing here and coughing. Okay. Can I... Nope. And... So I guess the only choice is to go through here. Okay! I'll just turn that off for a moment. Okay, a teddy bear. All right, all right. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that a pig's going to show up, does it? Maybe it's just a hint that something supernatural is going to happen. Like, like the chill. Okay, I'll turn it off. A note for me. Okay. Uh, August 4th, 1898. More experiments with compound X. Took the dog and injected it with strychnine. Ah, that is a very deadly poison. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in a large tank of compound X, the Brandenburg compound, uh, and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced. However, damage occurred, incurred prior to death was retained upon revival, meaning the dog continued in the acute state of strychnine poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps yes. It is, after all, known to be the kindest of suicides. I don't know. I, I think bullet in the skull would be still kinder, but if you're looking to minimize damage... If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. Okay. And this is the way out. Oh, this is just back where I was before. I mean... Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> where did the door go? Where, there was a door here, too. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well. And a pig mask. Who's leaving those? Who's messing with the architecture here? Oh. Some real alien architecture. Uh, going down. They sort of briefly touched on that in the last game with the design of Alexander's combat, uh, not compound, uh, castle seeming to have no basis in any sort of physical reality, but there was none of this doors going missing. <laughs> ah, that is, that is nuts. That is nutso. Low temperature storage! It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time, we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. Uh, that's not a very nice thing to say. Yeah, I mean, like, Alexander's, um... Alexander's, uh... Castle had no basis in physical reality, but it didn't seem like the castle itself was shifting around, I mean. A warning. Inflamed it is, burning it does, bleeding from each hole fore and aft, leaking down my legs, blood and excrement, my lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now onto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says, and I did drink it. I did do that. Because of the changes, they ripple inner me, my teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all, gathered what I can, push them back into my gray gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running of the fever, because not all of us can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that, but he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket, and I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty, how can a, a man shit so much blood and still live? Okay... Okay, wow, uh, so, uh, Mandis is feeding people the, the, uh, Brandenburg Compounder 
whatever it was, just like Alexandra was. That sounded exactly, not exactly, but sounded a lot like what happened to Wilhelm. Okay, yeah. The way back is gone now. Cause why wouldn't it be gone? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh. Yeah, I knew it. 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 Ah! Yeah, we go back in a straight. <laughs> How is that even possible? Ah. Uh, how would that even and go back to over over there? I don't know. I guess it could. The door went missing. Oh my god! What the hell? What is this? Okay, that's the compound we needed, and there's a switch. Thank you for flickering. That is ever so helpful. All right. That's fine. I didn't want to go back in there. Since Atlas was right, this really is the crucible of evil. Oh, uh, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, okay. And this is the thing I need. Okay. Another note. A heady brew. Okay. I have the compound. It hisses and steams in its container like some living thing. Or like acid, I don't know. A witch's jelly to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass. A strange choice unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with this so-called compound X. I should investigate further for clues. Ah. No, don't drop that. I don't know, pal. If you remember from your high school chemistry class, uh, lots of acids will dissolve lots of things, but men, a lot of them don't dissolve glass. That's why they use it for all the bakers, you fool, because it doesn't interact with anything. No, I meant you to throw it at it. You idiot. Here. There, there, there we go. Okay, you can shut up now. Still cool, but... Okay. Um... Yes, cause... Cause if I recall correctly, um... Didn't we get like a note earlier? Uh, saying... Are these out of order? Wait... Nope. I don't know. One of the notes, it seemed like, said it was a uh, photoreactive, right? That's why this thing is here. I mean, it's the only other thing in the room, so... Yeah, boy! Woot! Onwards! Maybe finally going down! Finally! Haha. <laughs> okay. Oh, shut up, you little brat! I've been wandering all over for you kids! You better be pretty fucking grateful when I rescue you, even if it is my fault that you're in this mess. Uh, Woo! The, this leaking world. The bottle of gin was empty. Sleep seemed impossible. Above the skyline of London, he could only see the temple rising into the smog. Okay, because he is drinking, because he's depressed, because his kids are gone. But here's here's what I think happened. I don't think they got killed. I think I was wrong about them getting killed. What I think happened was, um, Oswald, because he was going bankrupt. Remember in the beginning we were learning he was going bankrupt. He he one one day he was like in his library, cause and and he found uh Alexander's journal and he talked about the orbs. And then Oswald discovered an orb. Um that there was an orb in uh, Mexico, and he got it from the Aztec temple, but he was not prepared to deal with the shadow, and um, before he could figure out how to keep the shadow at bay, the shadow came and took his children. That's what I think happened. 
So his children are trapped by the shadow, and he's he's trying to rescue them from it. But I think, well, when so so he used the orb to uh to um maintain his factory and make all his monsters. Uh. But oh oh jeez. Ow. You need to stop falling from things, Mandus. Okay, but I think what happened was... Oh, he's like looking around in the shadow for his children. And while there, he found someone else. Someone named... Let's go this way. Someone named Alexander, maybe? Probably? I don't know. That's a weird looking skeleton. And... He's being manipulated by him now? I don't know. Uh... October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, m once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped ready for gam broiling and evisceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines by the boiler and series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a compound. There's a component that must be kept at a constant, consistently low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality, and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution: the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat. Using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. Okay. So that was what it was coming out of the pipes before superheated vapors. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Dear God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Oh, burn! Okay. Another note. My journal. The flooded tunnels. A mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. What? There's water in the sewers? To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. Oh, man up. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? I don't know. It would prevent you from going further. Also, you're the saboteur. Oh! I know what he hoped to achieve. I know what he hoped to achieve. There's a water lurker in there. There's a water lurker in there. Ah, oh, keep going. This is a door, right? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm not climbing across that catwalk. I am not climbing across that catwalk. Yup! Yup! I knew it! I knew it! There's a water lurker! Oh my god! Oh my god. But yeah, I'm not climbing across that catwalk. <laughs> uh, is there anything over here? Nope. Because if I climb across that catwalk, I'm going to... Oh my god. Okay! Oh, come on! Slew escape one! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! 
Fuck you! Okay, you know what? I am going to cut it here. We will deal with that next episode anyway. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tipsy Villain, and this was Amnesia, a machine for pigs. If you want to check out the game for yourself, download it in the description below. Also below are links if you'd like to like me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. If you liked what you saw, click like or subscribe. And be sure to tell all your friends about me on your social media account. If you didn't like what you saw, tell no one. Bye!